action scheduled for six rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with green trim and fighting out of Erie, Pennsylvania. He weighed in 134 pounds. With a record of six wins, two losses, he has two wins by way of knockout. Introducing a fighter they call Lamar, the shining star, Williams. And his opponent across the ring, on my left, fighting out of the red corner in the six-round lightweight main event. Really needing no introduction to you, the boxing fans. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with multicolored trim, hailing from and representing the east side of Los Angeles, California. He weighed in tonight at a ready 133 and three quarter pounds. Tonight, he is making his professional debut, the pride of East LA, the United States, the 1992 Olympic gold medalist. Welcome to the ring, the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Once again, your referee in charge, now to give instructions, Marty Denkin. Okay, remember to do your dressing. You follow my instructions, you do your job, and I'll do mine. It's that fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the table is set, and now the main course. De La Hoya, 5'11", Williams an inch and a half shorter. Williams a quarter of a pound heavier at 134. Williams five years older at 24, and a three-inch reach advantage for De La Hoya, the gold glove champion, excuse me, the uh, Olympic gold champion in Barcelona this past summer. He's quick. He's good. He's solid. Graduate of Garfield High School in 1991. Soft-spoken, amiable, articulate. Got a great personality and a winning smile. Right now, he's not smiling. He's all business. One of our friends who does some television photography, Eddie Okuna, was with him all day. And here's an unleashed attack by De La Hoya, and he knocks his man down. Oscar De La Hoya opens up in dramatic fashion. Wanted to fight in Los Angeles for his fans and family and friends, and here he is at the Great Western Forum, trying for the knockout in the first round. Right above us, punching hard with both hands. Remember now, three knockdowns does not constitute stopping the fight. But this is one of the most dramatic moments in boxing history. Bob Arum told us the kid was great. So far, he's been better than that. Chick, he's unlashed some combinations. I said earlier, the transition from amateur to professional, this guy's all professional, baby. And the man that he is fighting now is definitely on the run. Lamar Williams, Erie, Pennsylvania. Two knockdowns, oh! two fire, and there is a left hand right on the button. A short left hook right on the button. It's all over. They stopped the fight in the first round. 142 into the round. The fight has been stopped, and properly so. And in one of the most exciting, unbelievable finishes to such an important debut in the boxing world. Oscar De La Hoya now rises a pedal, a pedestal that is higher perhaps than even the one that took him to the gold at Barcelona. Now he is on the threshold of what appears to be a tremendous boxing career in the professional ranks. To say that it was a stupendous, stunning debut would be putting it mildly. He is running around throwing kisses. He just threw one to his father. His father's sitting back a few rows. His mom, to whom he's dedicated his life and his fighting career. His mother, 38 years of age, Cecilia, died from breast cancer a couple of years ago. 
never got to see the artistry that this young man of 19 years of age has developed. Dick, he threw these combinations great. He went to the body first, then he threw the left hook over the top. Here's the second knockdown, Chick. He would, I tell you what, Lamar did never did recuperate from the first knockdown. Now at the end of the fight here, the referee, Marty Duncan, had no choice but to stop it. He didn't stop it because of three knockdowns. He stopped it because the man was defenseless. There's his dad, his father, Joel. And we'll be back with an interview. Ruben Castillo will be talking to Oscar De La Hoya, who brings Prime Network and Fight Night at the Forum to a new echelon. We are so proud to be a part of it. We'll be back in a minute on Prime Network, coast to coast.